Hello everyone, in this video what I am going to show you is how we can install jQuery in our web application. See you in the video. Alright now, back to the video. Now I am going to show you how we can download and install jQuery in our application. Okay, now in my Google homepage I am going to type jQuery and I can either go straight to the website or I can go straight to the downloading jQuery. Let's go downloading. Let's go to downloading jQuery, and we can download jQuery. We can either download the current release or the past release. Well, I'll just go for the updated one, the latest one. Okay. Now let's download the jQuery regular. Now see when I click on this link, what happens? See, see all this code running behind jQuery. Now this is. The actual jQuery engine. This is the jQuery code that is going to be running behind your jQuery enabled application. So we will be using this one, but we will not be using this uh, code, we will be using this file. So we will just download this file. We will just right click on this link and say save link as. And we can download, well, I already have downloaded this one. So let's just replace it. Okay, now we have downloaded this one. Now, now that we have this in our file, what we need to do now is just cre just create a page. Now I've created a folder right here, jQuery demo. Inside this folder, I have created an HTML page. Inside this HTML page, I have created a reference to this file right here. So let's open up this. You now what? Let's go to the Visual Studio. Well, I'm going to open this one as an administrator. I'm going to go open file. Okay. okay. All right. So I've written down. This is the title. I remember. Now it is. Now there are two steps we need to do. The first thing, as I said, you need to create a reference. To the jQuery file. Now this is the reference, and you see I have not included any path here because this file jQuery page demo is right here, and this is linking. This is linking or this referencing to this file right here, jQuery version 1.4.2, 1.4.2, and this is referencing to this file right here. Now once we have created the reference, we can just start using the jQuery code and this is just using the function that is the alert function and just notice that we have used this code inside the header tag okay it has to be within the header tag now with all everything is set and done we'll just save it and we'll go we'll just double click this one and now it says jQuery enabled is working okay or should it say jQuery enabled page? Let's work in. Okay, let's do that again. The jQuery enabled page is working fine. So that's how we do it. There are a few more things that we can do and we will be doing in jQuery. So join me in my next video. I'm making some more videos, upcoming videos. So I'm going to show you some more cool stuff that we can do in jQuery. Keep tuned in and have yourself a good day. Thank you. Thank you.